any second approach to 100% renewable is benchmark how much you're using now. If you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Step two is to reduce the amount of power through conservation and adoption of modern technology. Step three is to site like local renewables, solar installations, solar farms. And step four is right now our current grid, as it, as it exists, can't handle as much solar as we're going to put up. And so we have to improve our grid, have a modern grid, something we call a community microgrid. So you think we can do this? Absolutely we can do it. We can't do it tomorrow, but by 2050 we can certainly do it. And you're saying the, the heat and the electric vehicles are the, are the way to go, the crucial? Absolutely. We patterned our, our work here. We're just the, the, the science behind it is a guy named Mark Jacobson from Stanford University. Um, he basically did the United States. In fact, he's done every country in the world what it would take to, to uh, go 100% renewable. And we've patterned ourselves very locally after his big initiative. And who are you? I am Bernie Pelletier. I'm a representative of People's Action for Clean Energy. We're based in Connecticut, have been around since 1976. And uh, we've been an advocate for clean energy that whole time. How can people get a hold of you? Um, best way is uh, email bernard.pelletier, P-E-L-L-E-T-I-E-R, at comcast.net or contact Melissa Everett with Sustainable Hudson Valley and she can get you my way. It was right over there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.